welcome 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 to the vsd channel guys android 14 finally running one ui 6 this is the first beta and this is the eastern egg on my samsung s23 3 ultra guys and i want to give you a very short and quick tour now of course i'm gonna need a few more days to make sure that i fully test it and also guys i want to make a disclaimer don't be so harsh that's still a better software is the first beta we only hope that samsung will just take this and make it better i can already tell you that there are many and i repeat there are many many new things and many improvements many design changes so let me just start the first thing that you're gonna notice is here this one so apparently they redesigned the quick panel and um, it's kind of like a love and hate relation some people say it copies color away some people say it copies iOS. i kind of like it at the moment it's very intuitive it's split in three parts you have here your wireless connection like the wi-fi and a bluetooth you have here all the quick settings and of course here down below you have the control for your display and very down below you have the smart view and of course also the device control so you can control all of your important hopefully connected smart things to your phone here you can see that they have changed also the notifications and there is kind of like this weird gap somehow between the media player and my socials and the others but something that i want to share you guys they finally 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 changed the media player and this one is really nice it's also themed which means that if you're playing different songs let me just show you guys right now this song is like that if i am to play another song that of course features other colors yes dynamically guys this is going to get themed and you're gonna get different different colors like here this one and i really love the progress bar i am so happy that samsung finally finally changed this here so right now we have new quick panel we have redesigned notification panel we have also here finally a new media player also it seems that this is not the only change there seems to be also this new phone guys if i am to open now the tweet you can just see everything reads here with a different phone so apparently they also changed the phone and now with that said guys of course you will want me to test the animations please please i'm gonna go back to this but some other design changes we finally have have here a new menu for the photo so if you click here to choose between 200 megapixel right or choose between 50 and 12 this looks different turn off and on the motion photo and guys also try to apply some filters so this has been redesigned here things look pretty much the same but something guys i really want to draw your attention what is new here is not only this they added something called advanced intelligence option which allows you guys to either go for maximum quality choose medium quality which will speed up capture time by doing less optimization or like in my case keep it to a minimum quality take pictures as fast as possible by not optimizing pictures after they're taken let me do a quick test so that you can appreciate how fast this is this is really nuts <laughs> what was the last time you've seen one guy doing something like this and by the way i just keep doing this and my buffer is not filled okay now no i can keep going forever really really so quick it's worth to mention that when you're using the minimum function the scene optimizer has been turned off if you go for maximum quality this is going to be the only option for you to enable back the scene optimizer which will optimize the color and contrast of pictures to make dark scenes look brighter food look tastier and landscapes look more vivid it's very very good that you can go choose maximum quality and still turn off the scene optimizer now this is really a welcome nice new addition let me show you something else that i find very very nice now this here is the redesigned gallery with the animations right one more time let me show you guys boom we're gonna get here the option to do remaster a portrait effect but also guys a 24 hours time lapse and i was a bit skeptic the first time i tried this function but i can tell you yeah artificial intelligence guys has been put in place and indeed yeah you can just see from my picture they created a 12 minutes clip which will really kind of recreate the feeling of <laughs> a time lapse of course it's not perfect but yeah at least it was a good attempt and now guys perhaps even more interesting i'm gonna go inside the settings and again i know i know we are here all about animation but some things we need to say inside connections and actually everywhere in the menu you are now finally getting guys the new toggles okay so airplane mode right exiting on and off there is a weird bug here you can just see this line is not supposed to be there guys so also the system settings has been redesigned something that i found rather interesting guys when you go and scroll down below there's something called locations from locations you're able to control all the permissions and the location services the upper mission and it's done in a very nice way for example if i am to go now here and i can just see which of the applications are trying to access my location this is the battery menu guys 
this is how it looks like of course also the chart looks a bit different and you have pretty much the same settings if you go to charging settings guys you have the adaptive battery you have the performance profile you can set the standard the light one so this looks a bit more and more standard but there seems to be also some other tweaks around here if you go and scroll down a bit and you go to screen in privacy you're gonna have here this new security dashboard with some very nice suggestion on what you can do and what not but guys i know why you're here you're here for the animation so without any further ado guys let me just scroll down to the animations and let's just see how this is going to work now first boom recent menu all right one more time okay i'm not going to close it guys i'm just going to open now telegram right close open close right open close no stutter whatsoever all right also going from landscape to the vertical mode it looks to be quite responsive now i'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can just see there is this weird bouncing right boom okay you've seen it let me open spotify okay boom one more time it seems that kind of like the whole folder group is bouncing here this is for example the messenger this is here the facebook boom this weird bouncing is there I think it's not bad boom one more time and i really hope that they are gonna fix it let me do some more testing guys opening the stock dialer and going back to my home screen seems to be really very smooth and it seems that there are no micro starters at least for now right i cannot guarantee it's going to be the case let me just go and boom close all of the applications now let's open the telegram okay now i'm gonna open messenger now i'm gonna open facebook all right going back to the home screen i'm gonna open instagram i'm going to open tiktok i'm going to open telegram again it's in the memory i'm gonna open twitter okay now no luck no stutter whatsoever right one more time i'm gonna go here inside the menu show you guys the brightness control it seems that it's very very fluid also going to the left to access the google now usually this was, was also causing some stutters and then finally my favorite testing animation this would have caused some stutters right one more time let's see what's going to happen when i go to the edge panel i have some favorite favorite ways to test so i'm testing here the split screen window okay it seems to be very fluid changing the screens okay all right and i can then also test the other option the other option is here with youtube and with twitter yep looks to be quite nice for a better one i do believe that they really have a good product i know that some people will not like it i know that some people will really like it and i know that there are more things inside guys now let me all show you the new weather okay so weather has been redesigned a bit and there's something guys else i want to show you there are also new widgets if you scroll down and hit here the widgets scroll down on the camera guys and there's going to be a new widget called custom camera if you add this on your screen you have the option to choose what will appear here right it will be just a shortcut to your camera you can title it put whatever you want as a title and you can then decide okay i want to get like the rear camera with the photo with the portrait mode so let's say i want to get the portrait mode okay and then also guys i want to have as a widget background not the most recent picture that i did but let's just go and let's choose this picture and now guys i'm gonna press save now boom i have here you know a widget and when you open this widget guys you're gonna have here custom camera why is that because you can go inside the settings of this widget and you can also decide where these pictures are to be saved so again this is also some really new cool stuff coming from one ui6 and i'm really um, hoping that i'm just able to at least show you guys some of the new things now bear in mind this is first beta there's gonna be more and more more new things so don't forget to suffer the channel guys and as a compliment to this video guys i'm going to give you this very nice and beautiful view of of the Greek. See, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. VSD over and bye.